Indians recorded on rock faces, their supernatural encounters, self-serving men tried to hide the story, annihilating their records by blasting them under a mountain of rock. But as we shall see, the Holocom story would not lay dormant under the debris of men's devices. The story has been recovered, and the truth, for our benefit, has been restored by Jeff Wolwine's incredible investigation and patient observations. But even more importantly, and more impressively, we shall see that these strange sightings long ago recorded on rock are still being seen to this day here on South Mountain. These are the pictures uh, that, they, that they drew. They drew on rocks. They didn't have cameras. They, they drew what they saw on rocks as a, records, uh, as a record of That's what right. they were experiencing in this Phoenix thing. Is, is Phoenix a valley? Would you call it a valley? Yeah, uh, it's the Valley of the Sun. Valley of um, the Sun. Phoenix, um, some people think it's, you know, Phoenicians, uh -huh. uh, the land of the giants, I because see. we find a lot of petroglyphs here that depict giants, giants. and a lot of evidence that the giants were here yeah. in Phoenix, Arizona, through the rock art. And it wasn't just graffiti that they were doing, but they were actually telling a story of something important. What's going on with this one? Here we find what looks like a lizard guy, because we have a tail here, and we have his legs, and you can see that he's in the appee pose, much like what uh, we us sky watchers do. We look up and we're like, hey, you know, what are you? Come and see us. And here is the, a depiction of what looks like a, a worm or a creature, okay? And this is the type of stuff that we're looking for here in the Valley of the Sun. Uh, in my opinion, it's, it's not a craft, but another life form. It's another creature. And this is actually depicting of what this Native American saw in the sky. And if you look up right over here, you can see another one there, all right? Now, I've videotaped this. I've seen that creature there, Easter Sunday of 2009. Do you have a picture of that, a video of it? That's right, mm-hmm. This is an amazing rock here. Why don't you explain this one to us? Here we have on this panel many spirals. And here's one representing it as it's going down, which means that the doorway for the spirits is in the ground here. We have another spiral. Seems to be representing it's, it's going up. So not only do we have a doorway on the ground, but we also have a doorway in the sky. We have a, di a coyote, or a deer, if you will, and he's looking up at what we might think is a spiritual being, okay? We have this worm here. What we're looking at is actually photographs of what these creatures look like. I've seen these worms in the sky here. Over here, we have a bow tie. And some of the petroglyphs here, these bow ties actually grow legs and arms and a head. And this is representing a spirit being, a UFO, if you will. On top here, you'll see that this is oriented on top, in the sky. This is one of these serpent creatures that I filmed many times here in Phoenix, Arizona. And it's, it's up high, or it's as to say that it's been seen in the sky here. He's a very powerful entity. This is one of my favorite panels here. This panel right here really depicts on what the Indians were trying to say here of South Mountain. Um, when you look at the rock art here, you're not just supposed to look at the art here, but actually what the artist is trying to tell us. And he's trying to tell us that the art is depicting the back of the landscape here. It's depicting the whole landscape. Here we have this formation here, okay? Now this represents the two pyramids that are behind us. This pyramid 
is represents this pyramid here and there's another pyramid that we will see on the other side there. Now, if you look, the pyramid is in the shape of a serpent. Okay, this is a serpent making these two pyramids. So the Indians are trying to tell us that this, there's a serpent, a big serpent that dwells within these two pyramids here. On top, between the two valleys, between the two valleys of the pyramids, it comes up and is this creature here. This is a UFO spirit creature. And to the left of him is the sun. So when the sun is in the right position, it opens up the two doorways of the pyramids for these spirit beings. You know, Jeff, words form pictures in people's minds. And when it comes to the word spirit, people have no idea what to do with a mind picture for the word spirit. And so I think for most people, I think it's fair to say that most people think of something in the air just flying through the air, but which has no form. But uh, as we look at these things, and as I look at some of the film you've shot, what these Indians called spirits actually had form. They could see them with their eyes. That's right. They were really strange looking things. That's right. And I'm glad you've done this work over the last five years, uh, learning to understand what this rock art was all about in relationship to what you've seen here in this Phoenix Valley. It is remarkable. There is a spiritual world that actually has form. That's correct. And these Indians and the people that lived here were actually experiencing these forms as they looked in the sky and that's why they wrote them down here on these rocks. While we were filming this segment, we inadvertently captured on film a spirit anomaly. Watch carefully as it appears out of nowhere and rapidly accelerates upward.